And today we're going to be teaching you guys all about the life cycle of a butterfly. But let's go ahead and get into the video. So butterflies always start out with laying their eggs. Their eggs will usually be small yellow eggs that sit on a leaf. Once those eggs hatch, they'll be tiny little dots, which are the tiny baby caterpillars. What happens after that? The caterpillars will eat leaves and crumb. Big. Super big. They'll be like 10 times the size that they were before. And I will show you guys a picture of that. They will keep eating for about two weeks. After these two weeks, what happens, Jax? In two weeks, they will get into a chrysalis. Yes, their chrysalis are usually green at start with a gold rim around them. They will stay inside this chrysalis for 10 to 14 days. At, at the end of the 14 days, their chrysalis will usually turn black and then they'll turn transparent. Once they turn transparent, you'll know that your calipiter is ready to get out of its chrysalis. And becomes a butterfly. Yes, and it'll become a butterfly. As you can see here, this butterfly is coming out of its chrysalis. See that its wings are folded up, but don't worry, it's not sick. It just needs to air them out because it was in the chrysalis for so long. We'll do this for about 24 hours before it can fly. The butterfly cannot regulate its temperature, so it needs heat from the sun to stay warm. That's called thermal injury. Now you might be asking, what type of, uh, what type of leaves do calipiters eat? Calipiters usually eat milkweed leaves, and they will eat a lot until they turn very, very fat. And they will usually go to a really high or tall place to form their chrysalis. Calipiters only eat milkweed leaves because the sap from milkweed makes them poisonous and that's how predators stay away from them. The calipiters that we had were monarch butterflies. Since we live in Texas, monarch butterflies are a state butterfly slash insect and they are becoming extinct. They are also pollinators, which is very important for our planet. Without them, we wouldn't have our food and our flowers. The mud I seen was a chrysalis or a cocoon. A chrysalis is a butterfly's, a butterfly's. A cocoon is a moth's. A cocoon is when moths take their silk and wrap themselves into their cocoon. Butterflies are herbivores. They eat plants. Good job. You might be asking how to tell a calipiter if it's a girl or a boy. Well, you can't really do that because calipiters all look the same. But once they come out of their chrysalis, you can definitely know. How do you know this? Well, you can know if it's a girl or a boy because girls have thicker veins than the boys and have tiny little dots, white dots, on the bottom. The boys have really thin veins and no dots on the bottom of their wings. How do you make your own butterfly garden? You can make your own butterfly garden by planting some milkweed and some flower plants. Flower plants are so that the butterflies can get nectar from the flowers. You can start your butterfly garden by getting milkweed and putting a few calipiters on <sighs> your plant. On a... You can add calipiters to your milkweed plant and they will eat and become a chrysalis. Stay tuned to watch how we can expand our butterfly garden by getting more flowers and more milkweed and more calipiters. Stay tuned! <laughs> They have many animals and tons of plants for you to choose from. It's a really cool experience. They eat 
even have chickens. As you can see, they also have driving pigs. <laughs> Examples of plants to put in your butterfly garden for nectar. In Enchanted Gardens, they have these little signs that have butterflies on them, if, and that will tell you if butterflies like them. Even a butterfly here. section is and Enchanted Gardens was very nice to let us take some caterpillars from the butterfly garden. Look at all of them. Oh. And it's okay to touch them and pick them up. They just have little sticky feet so you got to be really careful not to squish them. This is milkweed. This is all milkweed. I'm going to show you guys how to get some of the caterpillars. Just open the kit and then put it in there. Like that. Oh, there's so many. Oh, How many should we get? Let's do like five. A five? We don't have enough milkweed for more than that. Two. Okay. Uh, let's get one that's a little bit bigger. Four. And we'll do this one. Five. And as you can see on calipeters, they have those little feet that are dots and they create sticky stuff to stick to the plants. And there we have it. This one has really big veins and tons of white spots. That, that means that this one is a girl. That's probably why she's over here because she's going to lay eggs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we hope that you guys learned some things about butterflies and hopefully you can make your own butterfly garden at home. Bye guys!